Well, hello. Thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in Cag Fergus and in St. Nicholas Parish Church. And so this is part three of our installment. And it's the third and final part. And we're back with Julie. Hello, Julie. Hi. And Julie's going to take us on a, another wee tour of some of the rest of the artifacts that are in the church. So in the earlier part, you heard me mention about the gallery being built to give the soldiers some yes. of it. Um, given the being a garrison town, obviously soldiers wouldn't have had any means to pay their pew rent, and they would have had to stood at the back, stand at the back with all the poor people. So this is the gallery up here that's been built on. Now there have been obviously amendments and changes made over the year, but originally it was built in the 18th century to give the soldiers somewhere to sit. Now at the side here, just back beside the gallery, you can see the Norman pillars. So these are the original pillars from when the church was built. My goodness. So they're from the 12th century. From the 12th so century, these are? Yeah. So could you originally walk by these then? Yeah, so originally they were freestanding. You would have had, and you can see, you know, even just the way the arches are where some of the you know, site chapels and cloisters would have been. And then as different work was done to the church, they were encased. And for a while they were totally encased in the walls. And then it was in the early 1900s during some restoration work that they discovered them and now they've been left open. But as I mentioned earlier about the floor being higher, and when you look at the capstones on them, it gives you a good idea of how much higher the floor actually is now. Yes. Than when it was first built. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a, it's, a right, it's a right height now, like, there's no doubt about so it. I'll take you down here into what is known as the baptistry. Uh -huh. Just watch your steps going down. So what have we here then, Julie? So this is our St. Nicholas window, also known as the Santa Claus window. Oh, yes. So denotes St. Nicholas in his various guises. So he was the Bishop of Myra, and you can actually visit his grave in present-day Turkey. Is that right? He was also the patron saint of sailors, children, and the poor. But of course, for the more observant of you, you'll see down in the corner his most famous guise of all. Santa Claus, complete with reindeer. Oh, yes. So this was put in um, back in and the 1950s. There's a reindeer, folks. It was designed by... It looks more like a horse, I have to say. Are you sure originally it wasn't, horse, a, the, horse? it wasn't horses that he used? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, Julie. Absolutely brilliant. And you can see there, folks, it says St. Nicholas at the top. And I was telling uh, Julie earlier, and so I'm going to tell you the viewers that they've actually found out what they called uh, Father Christmas's wife. And of course, it was uh, Merry Christmas. So a bit of a bad, jo <laughs> a bit of a bad joke there, Julie. <laughs> so this was originally one of the entrances to the time. Uh, this, it actually looks like a, like a mausoleum. Um, well, for a while it does. was, when other entrances were opened up, it was closed off, and for a while it was used as a tomb. Yes. And then in the 50s, it was opened up and converted into a baptistry. Now, when the Cordell's factory was being built, um, where sort of the ruins of St. Mary, Mary's Abbey would have been, yes. um, they discovered this font, and it was taken into the church and placed here in the baptistry. So we're unusual in that we have two fonts here in St. Nicholas Church. And we have two St. Nicholas churches in Carrick. So we were known as St. Nicholas within because we were inside the town halls and the other one is St. Nicholas without. Yes. And I've heard a story that at the time when the font was discovered, there was also a chalice. So we got the font and the other church got the chalice. Now, I haven't been over to check out whether that's <laughs> true or not. So what age is this then, Julie? Um, well, the font itself, you would be talking probably again, sort of 11th, 12th century. My goodness, imagine. that is brilliant. So, yeah, pretty, pretty old. It does indeed. A lot, a lot older than me. <laughs> <laughs> and me, I have to say. <laughs> I have to say, even the window is older than me. For <laughs> um, so as I mentioned, at one stage, this was like a porch entrance to the church. Yes. Uh, magistrates would have been here, so you would have brought, you know, your your wedding marriage paperwork to be formalised. And if you had a dispute over, you know, a bit of land or somebody's animal wandering off, you would have come to see the magistrate. Yes. Um, not everybody would have liked his decision, so he had a bit of armed muscle with him. Uh -huh. And you can see marks in the stonework where they've whiled away the time by sharpening. Oh their my goodness! You can indeed knives. look at that, folks. Yeah, a bit of my goodness! You could just imagine them standing here sharpening their swords, couldn't you? I like to think that they've 
got into trouble for it, but who knows? Because well, the are up somebody to having a sword them. in their hand, I don't think they may have got into too much trouble. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have argued with them. And it's the same on the other side, then, Julie. I'm on the other side. And My even, goodness, look at that, folks. Beside the window as well. Because this and they've done the window as well. Then. Full porch area. My goodness. So oh, well, you can indeed. Look at that, folks. You can indeed. There's it there. There's where they've sharpened. You can see it. And even there. My goodness. That is wild. You could just imagine them standing here doing that, Julie. Yeah. Unbelievable. So that's, that's most of the highlights of the church then that I've, I've shown you. Well, that's, that's fantastic. And again, thanks so much. For uh, taking the time not only to show me round, but to show uh, the viewers round. And of course, this is watched um, in not only in Northern Ireland and Southern Ireland, but it's watched in England, it's watched in America, it's watched in Australia. So it's, I mean, I even, I even seen that it was watched in Russia and a few other countries as well. So thanks very much, Julie. And thanks for watching. Again, if you enjoyed the channel, then please like and subscribe. God bless.